All right. Okay, so we got to change the tuning of that fifth string. There's a way to do this. Here we go. Fifth string is going to be up to A. Even though we don't play the fifth string. And let's get a tempo, an approximate tempo. Let me find the song here. Uh, let's get a tap tempo. right about 90. Not that this really matters a whole lot. It's just for when we uh, hit the playback. Okay, so it's been a while since I've done this. I don't remember all the hot keys, but it shouldn't be too bad. So. Let me know if that's too loud. Chord AI. No, I haven't heard of Chord AI. Oh, we don't need that tapping. So that's got to be 16th notes. Or is that going to be triplets? Okay, no. That might be triplets, actually. Uh, where's triplets on here? Mm, no, it's not that. It might just be 16th. Yeah, there it is. So then that one is going to be delayed. Uh, staccato. Or staccato. This one also staccato. <clears throat> Free app you downloaded a month ago. Analyze the songs. You use super accurate chords and lyrics. That's fucking sweet. Hell yeah. Throbert, good to see you. Anyone I'm missing as you're coming in. Uh, with Matt Haven. No, I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever written tabs on stream before, have I? It gives you chord progressions and uh, and lyrics. That's fucking sweet. All right. Grab a pick here. We'll do all the... Uh, I make my tabs pretty detailed. Oh, it's faded. So then same thing, but we're going to go uh, 16th notes again. sound perfect this is a slide okay now the question is do i want to get i'm not going to put the up and down strokes in there i'm just going to see how people respond to it if i don't 
It'll just be quicker that way too, so. Copy this. Yeah, first time writing tabs on stream. So three, zero, three. Oh, and these all need to be 16th notes. This one still needs to be uh, eighth note. There it is. And one of those is a slide or a hammer on. Hammer on. All right. Sweet. That's the main riff down. I'm pretty sure it just repeats. Sandman, what's going on? <laughs> it might actually be easier, Jamie. Because instead of worrying about the up and down strokes, you might just like figure out your own way to do it. With this one, it doesn't really matter. I think if you're playing like some Tony Rice style crazy bluegrass shit, it would matter a little more, but this one you should be able to figure out on your own. We'll see. We'll see how long this takes, and then I can always uh, throw them in after. Cool, and we're going to repeat that. And we'll call this intro slash main riff. Okay, now we'll do the verse. So verses. Yeah, down pick it all <laughs> and taps, exactly. So uh, we're gonna go 16th notes. And then a rest. And then I think it'll be a quarter note rest there, right? Let's see. It might be an eighth note rest. Be an eighth note rest, I think. That will be eighth note back to sixteenths, I think. I could be doing this all wrong. Oh, that's right. And then another eighth note rest, sixteenth note rest. Still sixteenths, yep, so then that's gotta be staccato. Perfect. Copy that. And then it's This one is two, this is one, this is two. There we go. Boom, baby. Ice Dragon, good to see you, how are you doing? Welcome on in. 
Yeah, this was this is I'm still using Guitar Pro Seven, and I think the reason I went with Seven is because it was a one time purchase. I know they're on Guitar Pro Eight now, so I don't know if you can still buy Seven. Um, but yeah, Gazebo, have a good one, dude. Mitch, it's good to see you, my dude. Anyone I'm missing? Sorry, I'm kind of focusing on the tabs here, but hell yeah like the educational streams fuck yeah good me too these are always fun um we'll have to uh i could be wrong about that caleb i don't know for sure I, what i do know is that guitar pro 7 was a one-time purchase we'll do probably a banjo lesson for this one too but i think we'll worry about that after this next tour um okay so that is verse <laughs> So we should put that in there. So why don't we go? This could just be ending one. No, no, no. Let me think. So we can do this. Um, it's the best way to do this to make it clear. How many times does that play in the song? Hey, you, you can't deceive me. I've laid down my tricks completely, sweetly waiting for you. Come on in and start to feed me. All the others they like to treat me like a love that they once do. You. got an idea we'll do this um so we'll go do -de -do, do -de -do, do -de -do, do -de -do. perfect Okay, and what we'll do is repeat on this one, and we'll go ending one, this will be ending two, and then we'll put a note, uh, where is the text, we'll say play. Um, Play on the last, uh, play right before chorus. Something like that. Okay, and then this section. Is the verse. And I'm actually gonna move this back a little bit here. Or I'll say play this ending once before chorus. Maybe that's the way. Okay. And then we'll do the chorus. <clears throat> I'm doing good, Mitch. How are you doing, man? How's the health? I think I asked you this yesterday, but I kind of missed the kind of missed your message. It was we were flying yesterday. Hell yeah, Ice Dragon. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> porridge. I actually love porridge. Hell yeah. Everybody. This is going a lot quicker than I was expecting, to be honest with you. We're like almost done the bulk of the song okay so then Ooh, a little out of tune there
Okay, so I just gotta get the pattern. The pattern is four, two, four, two, three, two, one, two, one, two. So four, oh, and we wanna be 16th notes. Four, two, three. Make sure that's right. So then the F shape, which will be that stays three. Let's bring, oops. I think that's right. Whoops. Change these all the twos. And then. Zero. Let's see if I did that right. Chorus. Okay. Finest forestry surgeon around. Let's go, buddy. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'd rather be Cartman's mom in the World of Warcraft episode than eat porridge. Dude, I love porridge. Fucking delicious, but just checking the chat here. Jamie, are you heading home soon? Little sadist who, uh, Crabot? I don't know why he's like that. Okay, uh, so now the next section. Oh, we need that, that one ending. Those would be quarter notes, I assume. Okay, and now the fancy stuff. Back to 16th notes should be good there. Got to be palm muted. Excuse me. Home Friday morning, dude. How long has it been? Forestry surgeon. 
I've been thinking about putting out a tab book. So then it's going to be... So... Dun 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 dun. It's such a, it's, that's one of the best, best things about uh, Guitar Pro is just the instant playback so you know you're doing it right. <clears throat> oh, last hold on A at the end of the chorus. That's right. Okay. I'll, yeah, remind me of that after. So you know what we'll do actually? Let's just do that right now. So uh, let me just listen to it. Tears ain't cheap. Cried me a river, but those tears ain't cheap. Spent those damn lives through them crooked yellow teeth. I ain't trying to hate you for those sleepless nights. I should probably thank you for your time. For your time. Okay, so. We'll do this. We'll do just a repeat here. Get rid of that one. Um, and we'll go. So that one is just. So I go this one. Right there. there we go. Now we'll just do the exact same thing here. So we'll go call this one ending one. And we'll call this one ending two, and we'll just say play only on the last. Uh... How do I make this clear for people that don't really know music stuff? Play only, right? <sighs> Fuck. Play once on. It's not the last chorus of the song. It's the last, like, loop of the chorus. <clears throat> uh, one shot good to build up immunity. I mean, it's got, it's kind of like a multivitamin, so it definitely wouldn't hurt. I wouldn't, like, count on it to, uh, I wouldn't count on it to be the best source of uh, multivitamins. Um, how do I fucking say this? Because people are going to look at this, they're going to be like, oh, you only play this part of the chorus once, and then you go here. Uh, play only on last chorus loop. We'll try that. I'll say play ending only. Good enough. Okay, back to it. So, 
Dude, I think it's my training. I think it's my time spent being a teacher. But uh, I've just learned that you just, especially like when you're putting something on the internet, you just have to idiot proof absolutely everything. Or people are just going to be, what? Huh? This doesn't make sense. This free tab I got isn't exactly, exactly the way I would like to have it laid out. <laughs> Hopefully this is good. You know what? It's free tab. You're getting what you're getting. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to download this from the Discord. I'll put it in the, the TDS tabs channel in the Discord. So... So five... Nine days you've been gone, Jimmy? That's that's enough. That's enough days for sure. <laughs> you know, all about foolproofing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I'm stoked for you to get back home. <laughs> yeah, that's also true, I grader. You can do everything you think you fucking possibly can to idiot proof it, and it's still. Uh, okay, so. So then this is going to be its eighth fret palm muting. coming with the sub how you doing hell yeah three month gang thank you for tuning in we're writing some tabs today we're doing the completely sweetly tab Thank you. 
So this section, call this breakdown A, and then we have breakdown B as well. Put a repeat on that. Okay, and then breakdown B. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people have been asking me for uh, tabs for the new album, so we'll, we'll write some more. We'll do this every now and again. A PM is palm mute, so uh, let's see here. Let me actually go to this one. So you place your palm on the string. So here's non-palm muted sound. The string just gets to ring, and then when I palm mute, I'm putting my palm just like in front of the bridge. To get this like get that dead note so versus that's what palm muting is <clears throat> okay so now let's keep going Ben Johnson, ah, see what's going on. Yeah, I'll put him on Banjo Hangout and also in the Discord. So then. So that'll be a quarter note, I believe. This one needs to be staccato. And then we head to the lower part. So same thing. And then this is going to be three, two, three, two. And then three, two, zero, three. And that just repeats a million times. What's up, Matt? How you doing, man? Hell yeah, guys. What's up, everybody? It's good to see you, bro. Raiders, welcome in. We're writing some banjo tabs today. Actually writing a song that Matt was kind enough to play on his, uh, on his, uh, his Sirius XM show. My name's Colton. I play the banjo in a band called The Dead South. Uh, I played on Matt's version of uh, Wild Rover. We collaborated on that, and Matt's been super nice to our band with this new album. He's been playing it a lot on the, on the Sirius show. I appreciate that, dude. We're writing tabs for a song called Completely Sweetly off of our newer album. Welcome on in, everybody. Jamie, good to have you here, bro. Hell yeah. Welcome in, everybody. How's everybody doing? Fuck yeah. Thank you for the raid, dude. That's a big old raid. 
Hell yeah. We'll play the tune in a minute here. We're, we're pretty close to being done with the tab, actually. I think there's just one little thing to add, and then we're done. Yeah, Matt played completely sweetly in Tiny Wooden Box on uh, Chaos Hour on uh, Sirius XM. I'm not sure what I'm doing next, Ice Dragon. I'm not sure what or when. I'm not making any fucking promises. <laughs> yeah, Matt's the fucking man. Raiders, welcome in. Hell yeah, appreciate appreciate the raid, dude. All right, let's get back at her here. Okay, so we do this part. <laughs> that repeats a million times and then on the last one we just do like a oh, oh, no, no, no. holy shit schleife coming in players. god damn dude we got the whole hafey the whole hafey clan here schleife how you doing bro <laughs> yes i promise to no promise because if I say, oh, I'll do this one next, then I'll be getting his message. You said you're going to do this. I'm like, bro, you're getting these fucking things for free. Tom in Boston. Guys, let's get a shout out for Matt. Get a shout out for Schleife. Get a shout out for Tom in Boston. We have got some homies in the chat. How are you doing, Tom? We're writing some tabs today. We released a new album about a month ago. Um, and we're just, I got been getting a lot of requests for tabs for this song in particular. So we're doing this one. Tom, how are you doing? Schleif, how are you doing? How was your stream, dude? It's good to see everybody. Okay, so, right. I just want to figure out the end of this section. Uh, sweet. Let me see. Did I get it? I'll check right now. I don't check my message requests that often, so it's a good thing you told me. Uh, we're over here. Boom. Okay, I, after the stream, I'll uh, I'll check it out, Tom. If you don't hear from me, just send me a message again to remind me. Crow Capuchon coming in, hell yeah. Shred making noise, fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah, man. Thank you for the raid, dude. We'll just throw that in there. Ba na na no na 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 no na 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 no. It's a quarter note here first. Oh. Keep my name out your fucking mouth! Oh man, I fucked this all up. Good God. That's it. Is that how it goes, though, actually? Ready to song, forget how to play it, have to relearn it from your own tab. I've never had to relearn it from my own tab, <laughs> but I've forgotten many songs. Many, many songs that I've written. Okay, I just got to hear the structure of how this ends here. I think that's right. Done. 
na 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 yeah that's right so then again we'll say uh we'll just say play only on last loop i hope that's i hope people know what the fuck that means Okay, that's pretty, that's it. I think that's the whole song. Uh, that's breakdown A. We'll call this section breakdown B. Uh, what was the letter there? I think that's all the parts. And actually, you know what? I'm going to put. Uh, here. Call this one breakdown A. Starts there. Okay. That whole part. Breakdown B. Then it goes back to the main riff after that. That's pretty much it. I guess we could throw the chords in there. Let's throw like completely, sweetly. Always put my fucking name on here so no one steals my shit. Um, now where do we put this transcript? Oh, I see. So I just put my name in here. I see how this works. Uh, then I go here. Oh, you guys aren't seeing that little extra pop-up box, eh? That's probably weird then. Sure, bye. There we go. Boom. Okay. Um, Into a rippling heap of Fife, what's going on? Coming in with the sub. Ten, 13 month gang. Let's fucking go. Tutorials made you buy banjo and take up lessons. That's fucking awesome. I love that. Gerda, good to see you. How you doing? Have a good day. Thanks for popping in. Thank you, Priscilla. I really appreciate that. That's nice of you to say. I like explaining shit. Okay, let's put... Um, Let's put the chords in here now, but I don't want the actual chord diagrams in there. I just want like the chord. I think there's a way to do this. So we need D minor. And I'm just realizing that you guys aren't seeing the little pop-up boxes that come up, which is kind of a pain, but that's okay. We got D minor. <laughs> Uh, there's no change in rhythm at the end. It's all 4-4 four, four time the whole time. So if you're counting here, we can actually even put the, we can put the metronome on so you can hear it. So you're talking about in this part here. You can hear that click in the background. So a, a change in rhythm would be like more of a change in the actual time signature itself. Um, this is just kind of like putting the accent on different beats within the 4-4 four, four time, if that makes sense. But it's all just 1, 2, 3, 4. Same with this. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2. Same thing with the chorus. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, whoops. Uh, why did that happen? Why is it going straight to ending two? That's bizarre. Do I need to do that? Yeah, there we go. Three, four, one, two, three. The same, same thing here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
You're just putting the notes in different spots within that 4 4 time, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, right, chords. So we got D minor. I used to teach elementary school, so grades one to eight. So Nate's playing. So D minor to A sharp. Tonality is A sharp major. And then we got. It's, a, it's not even accent as much. It's just like where the notes are placed and the length of each note. If that makes sense. So we need F major and A. And I believe that's all the chords in the song. And I really just want to throw them into the chorus here more than anything. That's A sharp. Okay, and I, I don't want the chord diagrams at the top. Well, I'll figure that out after. This is F. This is A. And then this is D minor. This is going to be A. I guess we could throw them everywhere. Um, now, how do we... Might be in this style sheet here. Title, subtitle, artist, album, words, music. Chord diagrams. There we go. So, so this is going to be D minor chord here. I'll throw them everywhere. Do they don't pant? Do they don't? I don't go. And just for this last beat is A sharp, and then back to D minor, and then the last beat is F. Same thing here, so D minor. Last beat is A sharp. D minor, last beat is F. And this one, it just hangs on the D minor. Or wait, no, it hangs on the... I taught a whole bunch of subjects. Holy shit. These crabs. The charlatan music, come on in. N'est pas un vrai raid, c'est un raid de charlatan. What's going on? It's not a real raid, guys. It's a charlatan raid. How are you doing, charlatan? Welcome on in. Bonjour, mes amis. Je parle un petit peu de français, mais pas beaucoup. But yeah, I taught, um, I taught uh, just a variety of shit, a whole bunch of shit. Charlatan, how are you doing? Welcome in. Thank you for the raid, guys. How are you doing? My name is Colton. I play the banjo in a band called the Dead South, and we're writing some Dead South tabs today. Just about done. Hell yeah. How you doing? How was your stream? What were you up to? Am I following you? Let me make sure I'm following you. No, I'm not. Hell yeah. Boom. Thank you for the raid, dude. How was your stream? What were you up to? Wee oui, wee oui, escargot Bordeaux. Wow. Tabernac. Lesai. Wow. 5.30, thank you very much. Les Français, je me suis senti seul ici. Not the only one. Now you're not the only one. Yours to keep. Oh, hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming in. Je ne comprends pas. Hey, but you understand that. I just said I speak a little bit of French. Uh, Sarm Strong, thank you, thank you for the follow. Hell yeah, everybody. Okay, so then these are D minors here. Okay, now this is where it gets a little trickier. So it starts with D minor. And it goes to F, so D minor. And then we go to F. Whoops. I think next is G. 
So we gotta add G to our chord library. Boom. Oops. So then. Karen's good to see you. C. Right, no, that's A sharp C, right? Yeah. We gotta add C to our chord library. So ba 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 F G and then A sharp and then C. Ba 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 C starts right here. Okay, and then now in this breakdown part, I actually don't change the chord here, so I don't even know what they're doing because it's. And then we go to that. The other guys are changing the chord there. Are they playing F there? Could be F or A sharp. Let me just let's play it and listen. Um, so in at least in Saskatchewan, there's two tracks you can do in school. There's just like regular English. And if you're in the English program, you have to take core French, which is what I taught. It's just like very basic French. You learn like your colors and your numbers and basic sentences and that kind of shit. Or you can do French immersion, which is it's you take all the classes in French, but it's like geared for families who speak English at home. So it's like the teacher is bilingual, speaks both French and English. So I'd have like my math class in French. Um, my textbooks and everything would all be in French, but it wasn't like, it was like, there's like an understanding that you're learning French as you're doing this. You're not like a French speaker, if that makes sense. So that's what I was in from grade two to 12. <clears throat> Soissant. Junky, hell yeah, I'm glad you appreciate it. Um, yeah, like for some kid, like for me, it worked. Some kids, like, like there's some kids that they just, they already would have struggled in like normal English school and they got put in the French version. And for those kids, it's a fucking nightmare because like, if you're already just, you know, already the type that has a hard time with school and like academics or whatever, learning a second language on top of that, or if you don't have like tons of support at home or whatever, right. It can be like a nightmare for those kids. Um, but it worked, it worked for, cause then they just like, they would have sucked in school anyway. Now they extra suck <laughs> because, because they fucking don't understand anything anyone's saying. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> French is a nightmare. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I just want to figure out what chord they're playing at the end here. A sharp, I think. Sounds like A sharp to me. We're going to go with that. So stays D minor this whole time. Um, you know what? I'm going to... Do this. We're gonna remove that repeat close. And I want to insert two bars. How do I do this again? There. So and that one's gonna be A sharp. So this one will be D minor. Oops. And this one will be A sharp. And that should be that. And then we'll go here. We'll do this repeat close. 
then this is D minor here. There we go. Done, baby. Sorry, I missed all the chat there. I lost half the tab. Anyone who walked in there at the end, I lost half the fucking tab and had to redo it. All right, let's find somebody to raid here. Uh, Greer's on, man. We haven't raided Greer in a while. Let's go raid Greer. <laughs> 